What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching another video. Yes, I'm wearing the same clothes. Yes, it's the same day. And yes, it's about 20 to 30 minutes after I filmed the last video that you saw on my channel. But I'm going to be going over today in this video the five things that I love about my Mark 7 GTI. All right, so number one is going to be the storage on the Mark 7 GTI. Remember guys, this is a hot hatch, so this car is able to fit a lot of stuff. This car is very practical. Storage is the first thing that I love about this car. And let me show you guys, I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth. So we're gonna go inside of my car in the interior. Don't mind the mess, it is a little messy in here. But let me show you the first thing. Number one, you have this extra little storage unit down here that you could put a couple of things. You could put your files, you could put your wallet. This little storage bin that you saw in my tips and tricks video for this car is awesome. And again, honestly, it's pretty roomy. You could put a lot of stuff in here. You have this little tray here that you could put coins. You could probably put another like couple things in here from maybe your license you wanna put in there. Even a small enough wallet will fit in there. So you have this stuff. Every single door has a bunch of different storage in it from the passenger to the driver's side to the back seats have a good amount of compartment storage here. You got your storage behind each one of your seats, which is great, obviously. And then obviously the most important part is you go back into the hatch and you have all of your necessities, all of your belongings back here. You can put down the back seats and you get a lot more storage if you need to haul a bunch of things. There's a lot of space in this car. So number one, I love how much space and storage you get with a Mark 7 GTI. You're looking at number two right now and that's the manual transmission in the Mark 7 GTI. Now, surprisingly, I am kind of shocked how much I actually like the manual in these cars. A lot of people frown upon them because of how weak the stock clutches are and the transmission isn't as strong as the DSGs that come in the same model. So I've had a pretty good experience so far with the manual. It's been super fun. I've had no issues so far, but the car doesn't have any really work done to it. There's no tune on it or anything yet. So I haven't really had any issues with it, but so far, it's been a lot of fun. I've done a lot of the clutch mods for this car from the uh, delay valve delete to the clutch spring delete to a clutch stop to make the, uh, the car feel a lot more engaging and a lot better. So the second thing I love about this car is the manual transmission. It's a lot better than what people uh, made it out to be, at least in my experience so far. Maybe my tune will change once I start doing a lot more to this car. But so far, again, I love the manual transmission, guys. That's number two. The manual transmission in this car is actually pretty fun. Number three, the interior of the GTI. I love it. I love the plaid seats. It's such a signature Volkswagen thing. In my opinion, they look really nice. It gives it a sporty touch. Honestly, these stock seats, the side bolsterings are actually pretty good. They hold you in place very well, surprisingly. I wasn't expecting that when I bought the car, but I do love the way that this car looks, guys. The interior is where you spend the most time in these cars, obviously, in any car that you drive. And you want to be comfortable and you want to be in a space that you enjoy. And to be honest, I really like it. And I have the S model, which is the base. And still, I enjoy being here. The technology isn't too bad for the car being six years old now, but I love the way the seats look. The infotainment isn't bad either. The technology in the car isn't bad. I think that the steering wheel is still pretty sporty. Like it still looks good. I like the lights. I, I like everything about the car. This is a non sunroof car, but I love that it comes with a black headliner. Honestly, I really love the way the interior looks from even like the brushed aluminum trim that comes here with the black like little mesh kind of trim here and then all around. So that's number three, guys. The interior of this car is actually really nice. I really love it for such a base model car. Number four, you're also looking at it. It is the 2.0 TSI engine that this car comes with. It's the EA 888.3 version. This is the MQB platform. This engine is awesome. I love it. That's why I bought a daily that has the same engine as my Audi because of how much you get for very little money honestly these engines are awesome guys they're pretty reliable it's definitely by far probably the best engine that volkswagen's put in their cars not in terms of reliability these cars are reliable though don't get me wrong but in terms of reliability it's still really good and performance wise these cars are awesome this car comes with the is20 turbo which honestly it is a very small turbo but still capable of producing over 300 wheel horsepower still can make almost 30 pounds of boost with a tune on it like this engine is awesome. The platform itself is awesome. I love everything about this engine. It responds well, it drives good, it's reliable. Guys, it's the complete package if you're looking for a car that's worth um, 
a lot, basically, just in terms of what you get for the car. The car is worth a lot in the benefit of a consumer that owns the car. So these cars are awesome. The engine platform is awesome. That's number four, guys. This amazing MQB platform, the engine that it comes with, everything about it is amazing. And last but not least, guys, number five. This may be a shock to some of you, but the fifth thing that I love about this car is how easy it is to work on it. These cars are super easy to maintain. These cars are super easy to work on, change parts, modify. These cars are overall just a simple platform to work with. Uh, maybe some of you guys might disagree, but I've found myself very uh, competent to do most of the stuff from, like I said, maintenance and modifying it. Like everything is right there for you. Spark plugs, coils right on top, uh, intake right there for you. Inlet pipe is super easy. Like there's so many different easy things that you could do with these cars by yourself that you don't have to go to a dealer, you don't have to go to a shop, you don't have to go and outsource somebody to work on the cars for you. So that's number five for this. Uh, car guys is that this car is super easy to work on by yourself where you don't have to take it to a dealer or a shop to get things fixed or to modify it. So anyways guys, that's going to conclude the video. Thank you so much for watching. Those are the five reasons why I love the Mark 7 GTI. There are obviously a lot more things that I love, but those are the five main things that came to my head when I was thinking about the car and looking at the car. These cars are amazing. So if you pick one up, or if you have one, let me know what you guys love about this car. But again, I absolutely love the platform. I love the car itself. It's been amazing so far. I've put almost 4,000 miles on the car. I've had it for about three months now, and the car has been nothing but a dream to drive. It's been so much fun, and I absolutely love this car and recommend it to anybody. But guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.